Jack is a master percussionist. He's just gifted. He just has a natural feeling and inspiration for dexterity. He can be intricate. He can be simple and just straight up driving, grooving. That openness and that breadth is a strong element in Jack's music. Playing with Jack, Dijonette is elevating. There's a momentum and a lift, a propulsion that you get when you're on the stage with him. You know, he, the way he listens and the way he reacts, the way he's supporting not only what you're playing, but the music as a whole. The best gift that I have is the ability to listen. Not only listen audibly, but also listen with my heart. I've been fortunate enough to be able to play with a lot of musicians and leaders who allowed me to have that freedom. Chicago was a very fertile ground for musical explorations, and Jack participated in uh, quite a few of those as a young person. There's no doubt that he enhanced and contributed to the growth of a lot of leaders, Sun Ra, AACM, and many others. Music was crossing over into different areas. Dynamics, grooves, freeform, these were the flavors of the day. We took those flavors and mixed them up and came out with our own ways of uh, delivering them. He's considered a jazz drummer, but really he is one of the world's greatest music creators. He's one of our greatest musicians. Not every musician can play with everyone and be themselves fully. You know, make a real contribution from a clear point of view. Jack does that. He brought an approach to improvisational music from a drummer's perspective that really didn't exist before he did it. Miles did that, John Coltrane did that. That's kind of what innovation is about when you can sort of synthesize things that already are there, but then make something very unique and new from all of those sources. I just never doubted that I would uh, be successful at doing this because this just feels like something was coming through me, lifting me up and carrying me. And all I had to do was to acknowledge this gift and put it to use.